What is up guys, welcome back to Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead throwback review leading up to the Walking Dead, uh, you know, Season 9, but of course this is during the break, so we are going to be doing uh, throwback reviews, probably like I've been saying, one a week, um, covering every single episode of The Walking Dead that I've never ever reviewed on this channel. Of course, like I say in almost every single one of my reviews, I started this channel when Season 7 started, reviewed every episode of Season 7, every episode of Season 8, and every episode episode so far of season nine but um a few summers back i went back and i reviewed like the first like four seasons in every single episode except um i stopped at a certain point now i'm picking it back up at season five so i did you know season five episode one did season five episode two last weekend and now i'm doing season five episode three so um Next week, we'll uh, do the Slap Town episode. Now, also, I do want to also just say, if you haven't seen my video from earlier on today, the Dwight video, which he's going to be going into Fear the Walking Dead in Season 5, which, if you guys want to hear my opinions on that, check out that video. It's uh, quite quite the rant video, but go ahead and check that out. So, uh, it was the video just posted just before this one. So, yeah, um, let's talk about the Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 3, Four Walls and a Roof. So, you want to talk an exciting episode, you want to talk a brutal episode, you want to talk a thrilling episode, if you will. It has everything. This episode has everything. Now, I will say, going back into this episode and watching this one again, I really felt excited. I really felt excited to watch this one again because I do re-watch these before I do these videos. Have to, you know, just because I haven't seen the episodes for uh, quite a while, actually. So, um, to go back and see this episode now, I mean, this is just one of the best Walking Dead episodes ever. Um, for me, I think on my list, my top 10 list, it was number 7 or it was number 8. I think it was number 7. And I, I do, I stand that, I stand that ground when I, when I, when I say that. I really do believe this is the 7th best episode of The Walking Dead. Maybe 8th, I forget. I forget the exact list at this point. But, the top 10 best episodes of The Walking Dead that I made a few weeks ago, uh, this was, yeah, this was on that list. So, um... I mean, this is the last episode for the Hunters in the uh, the television series version. Uh, in the comics, they didn't really last that long either, you could say. I mean, they they only had one volume, uh, volume 11, Fear the Hunters, um, which was a really big volume, and it's actually still considered one of the best volumes uh, ever, in my opinion. I think it's still, to this day, one of the best volumes, one of the most terrifying volumes, too, um, and just scary all around. So... Seeing the end of the Hunters in this version, uh, with the remaining, um, six from Terminus, uh, I thought to be really exciting. So, of course, we start off the episode with Bob, uh, you know, the chain and meat scene or whatever. So, um, I like that. I like that scene a lot. Very iconic. And then, of course, he kicks him in the face and knocks him out. Um, so then it kind of cuts to, uh, Sasha and the others looking for, uh, Daryl and Carol and Bob, which, um... Of course, you know, at this point, they start questioning Father Gabriel of, uh, you know, did he do something or whatever, and Father Gabriel kind of tells them about, uh, you know, locking uh, all those people out or whatever, so, uh, from his church or whatever, and that's why it said, you'll burn for this or whatever. What are you going to burn for, Gabriel? You know, I like that. Um, and they said, what you do? You know? So, um, that was a really exciting sequence because I remember when I was first watching that, I was like, okay, you know, is Rick gonna, is Rick gonna do something? Because, like, I don't know. I, I really thought to myself at that point in time, because Rick in season five, he will kill pretty much just anybody, even for the tiniest thing. So um, that's why I was kind of on the edge of my seat when I was watching that. Now I'm still on the edge of my seat, even watching it again. Um, so yeah, I love I love all that stuff with Rick and the others. So then of course uh, Bob is uh, outside of the church, and we get uh, you know Bob who kind of wakes up or whatever, and he's, he tells them that he was in a graveyard woke up and uh, saw, you know, Gareth and five other people, uh, and uh, he said, I remember specifically, he's like, they were eating my leg right in front of me, you know, and, uh, you know, all they, he was all proud, you know, like they had it all figured out, you know, and then Rick asks, um, you know, did they have Daryl and Carol, and he's like, Gareth said they drove off or whatever, and uh, Rick and the others are just kind of like, what, they drove off, you know, so, yeah, because to Rick and the others, they're like, okay, that's, you know, that's something, but of course, then they uh, put Bob into the other room or whatever, so you can rest, um, and there's like a sofa or whatever that G uh, Gabriel um, offers them, um, and um, I really like the part, okay, so, 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 so this, this is the part that I got super excited for, um, the part with Rick and Abraham, that was awesome, so, you know, and uh, I mean, 
I, I forget because I haven't read the comics. I've only read the comic book series two times over. So I don't remember it exactly. But didn't Rick and Abraham have some kind of um, showdown? Any comic readers will know that. Um, like hardcore comic readers. Um, did Abraham and Rick have a little bit of a, a fight in the comic? Um, because I, I, I feel like they did, but I, I can't remember. So in, in this one, they kind of get close. But my favorite part, my favorite part is when he's like, you're not taking the bus. And, um, you know, uh, he's like, try to stop me. And then Rick, like, goes to pull out his knife or whatever. Oh, my God, that was so awesome. And then Glenn kind of, he kind of stops Rick. So that was, that was incredible. I love that. So from that, I just love it, love it, completely just love it. So, yeah, we have that. And then, of course, um, we have them uh, deciding to uh, team up. And they, uh, Glenn, Maggie, Tara, and Abraham's group will go in the morning. Uh, and, uh, Rick, you know, at first he's like, no, and then Glenn kind of tells him it's not your call to, to make, you know. So, um, of course, then they plan what they're going to do. Um, you know, Sasha wants to be a part of this. She's not going to stay with Bob. Tyrese will, um, because he doesn't really want a part of this. But, um, they go out, I do believe, like five or six of them. And we got Rick who goes out, Michonne, Abraham, Glenn, Maggie, and... Um, is that it? Yeah, I, actually, I think that might be, okay, so that's five. So, um, never mind, that's five of them. So, five against six, you know, at first I was like, okay, but, uh, you know, of course, when Rick shoots the two at the beginning, it's like, oh, okay, they're good. So, you know, of course, uh, Gareth kind of, uh, you know, then they go into the woods and then Gareth comes out. It, you can tell it was all a plan, too. Um, and Gareth goes or whatever, and, uh, you know, they walk in, they open up the door, and Gareth just, just keeps talking and rambling on, you know, we've been watching you, uh, there's Bob, unless you put him out of his misery already, Eugene, Rosita, Martin's old friend Tyrese, you know, and, uh, he's just all proud of himself, you know, it's, I, I love it, very, uh, yeah, it's a very, it's a, it's a good villain move, you know, um, so, of course, he, he probably should have hurried up if, but he didn't know actually that Rick and the others were literally just about to open up that door um, in the church and uh, you know kill them basically so of course they go in you know he's like look you're behind one of these two doors we got more than enough power, firepower to open up both you know I can't imagine that's what you want and then somebody's like Ch -ch -ch, you know just try to try to make it more intense right because he's like I think it was Martin right because he's just like we got more than enough firepower power to you know take both the doors down or whatever and he's like I can't imagine that's what y'all want and it's like Ch I love that. That was so cool. So, um, he goes to, he goes for one of the doors and then he hears the Judith scream, the baby scream. And he's like, I love it too, how it cuts to commercial. He's like, oh, maybe we'll keep the kid. I'm starting to like this girl. And then it kind of cuts to commercial. So when they're just about to open up the door, boom, both of uh, the two guys that were at the door, uh, were, uh, you know, killed. And Rick's just like, put your guns on the floor, you know? And he's like, Rick, we'll fire right at that office. So you lower your guns. And then both of his fingers come right off. I do believe it's these two fingers right um and rick's just like you know put your guns on the floor and kneel you know and uh you got four of them there you got the the lady with that has michonne's sword you've got martin gareth and then some other guy and uh you know he's like martin there's no choice here and he's like yeah there is and then abraham want a bet you know and uh you know they just they get to the point where um you know rick and the others you know they they they, they basically they're enough they've had enough of gareth talking and just you know, everything, and Rick's just like, besides, I already made you a promise, takes out the machete, and starts slicing Gareth, and then, of course, you've got Sasha, who, you know, starts, um, <laughs> stabbing, uh, you know, Martin, that was, that was crazy, that was brutal, man, when Sasha just, just keeps going, you know, and uh, just keeps, um, stabbing, uh, Martin, that was awesome, and then, uh, you've got uh, the other guy that Abraham's just killing, you know, with the, the rifle or machine gun or whatever, and you've got Michonne or whatever, too, and she's hitting that girl or whatever, and then she gets her sword back and stuff, just, Awesome, awesome scene. We didn't get the the whole uh, hold them down from the comic. I remember that specifically well. But uh, you know, I'd still either way. That was awesome. So yeah. Uh, so of course, uh, Rick says, "I love the line. Uh, it could have been us." You know. And then uh, Sasha's like, "Yeah, or whatever." And then he's like, "This is the Lord's house." And Maggie res uh, responds with, uh, "No, this is just four walls and a roof." So cool title. Really like the title. They could have picked Fear the Hunters. That, that would have been pretty cool. But I noticed, you know, with certain storylines, they don't do that. Because with the season six finale, um, 
if I'm remembering correctly, I don't think, no, the season six finale, I think was rumored to be something to fear, like Negan's introduction episode, but they, they, they changed it to, um, what was it, uh, the last day on earth or the last, your last day on earth or I don't forget. I, 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 I don't remember, but yeah, um, it was like, uh, you know, your last day on earth. I don't know, something like that. They didn't pick, uh, you know, the, uh, the comic title for uh, something to fear. They picked something else, which I, I, I find to be kind of weird. I think they should like, you know, for, for that episode, knots on tie from season six, where Jesus takes them to the hilltop. They should have called that a larger world to be honest. I just saying that could have been really cool, but they kind of changed it because there was an episode around that time called the next world. So I don't know. They they just they think it's different. I I don't know. I think they could have picked uh they could have picked Fear the Hunters. I think that would have been cool. But Four Walls and the Roof is cool. It's an iconic line, so I'll take it. Uh so of course we got the death of Bob, which was really sad. We've uh that was a great scene as well with uh, Rick and Judith and stuff and Bob and then Tyrese puts him down and stuff. That was that was that was awesome. Uh and then of course we've got uh you know Abraham's group leaving, which was also really sad. And then to top it all off, we have Daryl coming out of the woods, and then we, we don't know who's with him. Obviously no now we know it's Noah, but he's like, come on out. So really exciting stuff. Uh you know, I'm kinda dreading Slap Town, but that's gonna be pushed to next week for sure. Cannot wait to uh, continue on these throwback reviews once we get past Slaptown, but awesome episode, 10 out of 10, definitely, and yeah, write your comments below, because this was just an incredible episode of a television series. I, I couldn't ask for a better one, so I'll end the video here. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.